Who knows what time it is? It's time for children's worship. Make sure that you have room to move around as we sing today. And you need your worship bulletin that goes along with this week's lesson. Let's get ready for children's worship. Let's sing the doxology together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, hello boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Hawks. Welcome to Children's Worship at Christ Community Church. I'm so glad you're here. But I need to tell you something. I miss seeing you. I miss it when some of you would come up to the piano after church to say hi. All of the Sunday school teachers miss you. We look forward to the time when all God's people can be together again to worship him. But for now, even though we're not in the same room, we can still worship together in spirit and in truth. What do God's people do when they worship God? God's people pray together, God's people sing together, and God's people read the Bible together. And in all these things, we glorify God. So, come on, let's worship God together now. Good morning, kids of Christ Community Church. This is Rick Hawks in Albert Church. Welcome to your time of worship. Let's open this time with a word of prayer. Pray now with me. Lord, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for being able to come before you uh, to remember all that you have done for us and to worship you with thanksgiving and joy in our hearts. We thank you for the new life you give us in Jesus Christ, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing a song together that reminds us of how much Jesus loves children. Jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red and yellow black and white they are precious in his sight jesus loves the little children of the world let's do it again jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red and yellow black and white they are precious in his sight Jesus loves the little children of the world. Let's sing, I'm Trading My Sorrows. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. Trading my sickness, I'm trading my 
yes, yes, Lord, amen. Zonda Kids presents The Jesus Storybook Bible Every story whispers his name Written by Sally Lloyd-Jones And read by David Suchet The Servant King It was Passover, the time when God's people remembered how God had rescued them from being slaves in Egypt. Every year they killed a lamb and ate it. The lamb died instead of us, they would say. But this Passover, God was getting ready for an even greater rescue. Jesus and his friends were having the Passover meal together in an upstairs room. But Jesus' friends were arguing. What about? <laughs> they were arguing about stinky feet. Stinky feet? Yes, that's right. Stinky feet. Now, the thing about feet back then was that people didn't wear shoes. They only wore sandals, which might not sound unusual, except that the streets in those days were dirty. And I don't mean just dusty dirty. I mean really stinky dirty, with all those cows and horses everywhere. Oh, you can imagine the stuff on the street that ended up on their feet. So anyway, someone had to wash away the dirt, but it was a dreadful job. Who on earth would ever dream of volunteering to do it? Only the lowliest servant. I am not the servant, Peter said, nor am I said Matthew. Quietly, Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, picked up a basin of water, knelt down, and started to wash his friend's feet. You can't, Peter said. He didn't understand about Jesus being the servant king. If you don't let me wash away the dirt, Peter, Jesus said, you can't be close to me. Jesus knew that what people needed most was to be clean on the inside. All the dirt on their feet was nothing compared to the sin inside their hearts. Then wash me, Lord, Peter said, tears filling his eyes. All of me. One by one, Jesus washed everyone's feet. I am doing this because I love you. Jesus explained. Do this for each other. Now, one of Jesus' friends had made a bad plan. No one else knew what the bad plan was, but Jesus knew, and so did Judas. Judas was going to help the leaders capture Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Go on, Judas. Jesus said, and 
Judas got up from the meal, left the room, and walked out into the night. Then Jesus picked up some bread and broke it. He gave it to his friends. He picked up a cup of wine and thanked God for it. He poured it out and shared it. My body is like this bread. It will break, Jesus told them. This cup of wine is like my blood. It will pour out. But this is how God will rescue the whole world. My life will break and God's broken world will mend. My heart will tear apart and your hearts will heal. Just as the Passover lamb died, so now I will die instead of you. My blood will wash away all of your sins and you'll be clean on the inside, in your hearts. So whenever you eat, and drink. Remember, Jesus said, I have rescued you. Jesus knew it was nearly time for him to leave the world and to go back to God. I won't be with you long, he said. You are going to be very sad, but God's helper will come, and then you'll be filled up with a forever happiness that won't ever leave. So don't be afraid. You're my friends, and I love you. Then they sang their favourite song and walked up to their favourite place, an olive garden. Jesus is the servant king and the Passover lamb. He knew he had to die to rescue us. His body was broken and his blood was poured out on the cross so we could be saved. Think about what that means to you. Talk to your parents about Jesus as the servant king and the Passover lamb. Find out more how you can apply these truths to your life this week. Let's do a follow me prayer to close our time today. Repeat after me, silently or aloud, or you can just pray your own prayer, but use this time to talk to God. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Father God, thank you that Jesus' body was broken and his blood was poured out on the cross so we could be saved. Thank you, God, that Jesus is the servant king and the Passover lamb who died in our place to rescue us from our sin. Help me to love Jesus more this week. In his name we pray. Amen. We will now close our time saying the Lord's Prayer together. You can pray along with me aloud, or you can pray quietly to yourself. The words are written on the screen for you. Let's pray as Jesus taught us to pray. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'm so glad you came to children's worship today where God's people prayed together, God's people sang together, and God's people read the Bible together. 
please tell your parents about what you learned today in children's worship. And if you had any questions about the Bible story, ask them to explain it to you. Now's a good time to get your coloring sheet and to work on that. Do you remember that song I played at the beginning of the video? We could change the words just a little bit to say, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells us so. Have a good week, and I hope to see you soon. Make sure you keep watching because we have a new memory verse coming up. It's a new song to learn and a new verse to be able to recite. If you're able to recite it, just record it and have your parents email it and I'll put it in the next children's worship video. to be